What's going on YouTube? Welcome to another Kovacs Reacts over here on the corner. We out here chilling and we are about to react to Back to Warcraft's video on Happy Got Banned on Warcraft 3 Championships. So this is going to get into a debate about the MMR, about people leaving games early, so on and so forth. About Pretty much there's been a whole problem in Warcraft 3, like it's a small community of individuals usually it's like good sportsmanship and everybody co co-mingling together and making the game what it is today you you guys see in 4v4s when we do 4v4s we usually get a bunch of people who just dip and leave the game it's kind of uh it's ruining the ladder right overall it's ruining the ladder especially in 1v1s if you get someone that ends up leaving in a 1v1 they don't feel comfortable uh, competing against whoever it is that they're competing against they'll end up leaving the game or something like that and it is just bad overall for our community right so as always down in the description we're gonna have a link to the video plus the creators channel I like 100% go check out back to Warcraft if you're into Warcraft the way how I am I've been following them for a hot minute and pretty much just all day streaming warcraft 3 championships any kind of competitiveness goes over everything warcraft right uh so without further ado we're about to get into it happy got banned on warcraft 3 championships so when we actually started getting back into warcraft 3 the first race you guys picked for me to uh to like halfway master was on dead so i took a lot of pointers from happy and i play like happy style right with lich first uh yeah with lich first into destroyers pretty much right and he is the world's best undead player right and for people like us we look at all these champions like grubby moon um happy so on and so forth like all these dudes we look at them and be like we want to accomplish what they're accomplishing in the game we pick up strats from them so on and so forth uh but when it comes down to sportsmanship whether they're sticking it out through the game and playing the game as is like to win and compete or if they're just leaving the game and kind of abusing the system it goes to speak volumes about what's actually going on in the community right so yeah, hit me up on any one of my other social media platforms down in the description below. Think about becoming a channel member to support the channel. You will have access to videos before anybody else. Uh, smash that like sub if you end up enjoying the video. And now, we're about to get into it. Drama, baby, drama. It is quite rare in Warcraft 3, but today is one of those days where we do have drama. And we gotta talk about it. Because as was reported on the discords and social media accounts on this world, today it finally happened. Happy got banned on War 3 Champions. Which is like crazy. It's super crazy that he actually got banned. You know what I'm saying? Like I seen I seen it pop up on Discord because I follow a couple of these guys. I seen it uh I seen it online a few times and stuff. I seen it in the Reddit. And I was like, wow what what's going on like what happened what caused the what caused blizzard battle net to be like yo we're gonna ban happy there we go here's the log the moderators and happy and a couple of other players have an ongoing dispute and that dispute goes back for two years roundabout damn so we'll figure out what is this all about why was happy banned what did he do and what's the problem with that? So, we have the War 3 Champions ladder because Battle.net isn't good enough for us, especially after Reforged, War 3 Champions was our savior. Our Warcraft scene is wonderful, but it is also very, very small. So, regional matchmaking doesn't suffice. On War 3 Champions, we do have global matchmaking, where it doesn't matter where you're... That got to affect the ping too, you know what I mean? Like some people are playing on a lower ping compared to everybody else who's p who's playing on a higher ping, which could really fuck up the whole entire build overall, like the strat overall. You'll be behind compared to someone else who has better ping than you, right? 
you're from, you'll be matched with other players that are queuing, depending on your MMR, on a server that is more or less, generally speaking, in the middle of you, so both players have the fairest possible conditions. That's the baseline of the ladder. To be able to have the highest quality possible and the highest level of play on the fairest conditions, there's basically an unspoken code of conduct. Everybody behave, everybody follow the rules, and we'll be fine. Behind and that's just because how small the community actually is around Warcraft 3, right? Like, StarCraft 2 has a bigger community revolving around that compared to Warcraft 3. Warcraft 3 is almost in its own class of being, like, a niche game. Sure, you have a bunch of people that play World of Warcraft and Dota 2 because Dota orig originated from Warcraft 3 ROC as a mini game until Blizzard wanted to like put an end to it, on, like wanted to take them to court. They said, "Well, screw you," and they went over to uh, to Steam and Valve and stuff like that, where they were actually able to create the game as is how it is now. And yeah, behind World 3 Champions, no big company. There's not millions of people who get paid to do the job there's no community managers so to speak it's volunteers working on this in their free time you probably know all of this so whenever there's something that needs moderation it's a bit of a hassle that volunteers have to deal with one of these things that we try to keep intact is ladder integrity we want that our ladder displays who's the best Facts. across the season. We have highly intelligent mathematicians working on matchmaking, working on MMR. How much MMR do you get for a win? Why? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. That is not just something that was copy pasted from somewhere, but people came up with that. And there was a lot of work. So obviously, if you win a match against a, an opponent who has a lot more MMR than you, you gain, you gain more points. Just as, uh, I don't know, you train your muscles more if you lift really heavy, basically, right? And if you lose to a player who was clearly unfavored against you, you lose a lot of points, obviously. And there's only a finite of MMR, MMR points. They are not getting created all of a sudden. So, a good majority of the time, whenever I'm playing, I'll gather like 15, like plus 15 MMR if we get a win. Sometimes it's more, but a good majority is like 15. I've had like six, seven MMR gained, but there's been games where I've lost like 45, 47. MMR out of nowhere and it's like what's what's going on here that doesn't make sense to me and that's due to my teammates leaving if I'm playing 4v4s uh, I'm not talking about 1v1s I'm talking about 4v4s for that for 1v1s it's usually like 15 unless I'm going up against someone who has a greater MMR than me they won't end up getting a lot I'd lose like 7 maybe 6 MMR but if I end up beating them I think it's like 24 to 28 MMR. 32 is the most that I've gotten on a 1v1 going up against somebody, which was a complete fluke game. People, especially on the highest ladder rankings, they match each other quite a bit, and they always share these MMR points towards each other. And the best end up on top, and then... So, what's the freaking problem? The problem that is ongoing for two years is that some players leave games early versus other players. And there's a number of reasons for that. A possible reason is they have to play on a ping that they don't like. For some players that's over 200, for other players that's over 100. Back to the ping, you know, like it, it happens, right? It happens because it's not geographic, geographical where you're actually playing with people in your area. Because uh, Warcraft 3 is around the world, and there's there's only a few people. Well, there's a lot of people, but compared to other games and stuff like that, for RTS games, there's not so many people actually playing Warcraft 3. 
So it's like you could be playing where I'm at in Canada. I could be playing against someone in Argentina or Switzerland or something like that. And the ping could be completely off for me and or for them, depending on the server that it pings from, right? Then there's personal things. Like a player might have threatened you before and you really don't want to interact with that person on any level. And in those cases, it's like you shouldn't even have those people play against each other realistically, right? You should like push that off to one side and have them face off against other people's. But if it were to get into like bottom of the ninth top two players competing and you, you're forced to compete against this person, then it's like that's a little bit different, right? That has happened. Then there's players you don't want to play because of your because of their play style. Linguagua, for example, is a pretty toxic dude in game. The Woody Wood style is probably pretty annoying to play against, so you leave early. But if you leave these games instead of drawing against them, the winner still gets MMR. And in Happy's case. Or also in case of a hitman, for example, that's a lot of MMR. So as a little example, who's happy leaving against? A personal thing would be Blade, because Blade threatened him apparently, as he did to so many others. And here I say once again, Blade should have no place in this community because of things like that. Then. There's ping-related things, because Happy is one of these players who doesn't want to play higher than 100 MS. So he's leaving against all players from North America, all players from South America, all players from Oceania, and even some Koreans, depending on the server. So every time that happens, the other player gets 15 MMR, more or less. While if these players lose a normal match to another player, they only lose 5 to 10 MMR. So every time these guys are matched with Happy, they basically ha can do whatever they want to do for one and a half games. They're not getting punished. So obviously, their MMR is inflated. And in some environments, that wouldn't be a problem. But we use War 3 Champions to determine who's going to be in the War 3 Champions season finals, for example. So, if you match happy a lot, you're automatically ranked higher on the ladder. And that might decide between, will you get invited to the finals or not? Also, we use MMR for seeding in a lot of tournaments. And we're not the only one. So if you get these wins over happy, the easy ones, while other players don't, let's say... What's an example? If you're X-Lord, you get the free wins. If you're Hawk, you don't get the free wins. So X-Lord's MMR is higher automatically, and then he gets a better seed in a tournament. And that's crazy to think about, you know, for standings for uh, the MMR that you're that you're like collecting as you're playing the games. That's that's pretty crazy to think about on top of the inflation and stuff like that. That's, that's nuts. That could happen. Stuff like that. It's almost like bot lobbies. And it's not an, a one or two people case. Like we know this is the case for Blade, obviously. That's one of the reasons Blade has an incredibly high MMR. That happens to Starbuck nowadays because Starbuck plays random and Happy apparently doesn't like it. That happens to X-Lord because I guess Happy doesn't like him either. Same for Hitman, Linguagua. Uh, a lot of the Koreans, depending on the server, want to zero as well. All these guys are getting wins, like for example, a Colorful or a Kaho has to play every game against Happy and won't get these MMR games. So this discussion has been ongoing for two years that players who do this, and Happy is not the only one, don't get me wrong, not the only one, happens across all MMR ranges, everywhere, that it ruins the ladder integrity. And this should stop. We had discussions about this at Rara 1. We had discussions about this at Rara 2. We had discussions about this before with many players. Some players are 
like Soin, for example, said, oh, damn, I didn't even think about that. I'll stop doing it. And he did for like immediately. Never did it. And that's cool. That's sportsmanship right there. And that's another thing that like call back to that that I was talking about earlier is the sportsmanship in Warcraft 3. And same as StarCraft 2, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it has to be good sportsmanship. Did it again. Other players continue to do what they do because they said, well, you're not punishing me anyway. You're just giving out warnings. Then I'll just continue to do what I do. And today was the day where people got punished. I also feel like they're actually making an example out of Happy just to let people know it doesn't matter your rank and like how good of a player you are because Happy is by far the best undead player, right? In in Warcraft three. Um, just to be like it does it doesn't matter, man. We're gonna we're gonna strike you with this ban hammer if this continues. Because it's it's messing up it's messing up ranked. War three champions released uh, something two days ago because the issue came up again and people left games more and more and more because it wasn't punished first it was just happy leaving games against blade and then when that wasn't punished we have the result and because happy wasn't punished everyone else was fine with that too Jumping on and ship. started to do it so it gets more extreme 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 it's a snowball of people leaving and ruining the ladder so what three champions said the following uh, just two days ago let me move this real quick a message from the mod team everyone we have closely monitored recent trends and have made a decision regarding player conduct it has come to our attention that players across various leagues are engaging in a pattern of leaving matches early, either to intentionally manipulate their MMR or for unspecified unspec reasons. This behavior disrupts the ladder's integrity, creating an unfair and unpleasant experience for others. We strongly Facts. condemn this conduct. Effective immediately, players found engaging in this action will face extended timeouts of bans, regardless of their rank. Repeated offenses, despite prior warnings, will result in indefinite removal from the ladder. War 3 Champions was established to foster a community built on trust and good sportsmanship. We are committed to maintaining this ethos and will take necessary actions to uphold it. We appreciate it. And that's crazy. Indefinitely removed. Indefinitely. So there's no way that you'd be able to come back. Get your understanding and cooperation. So after two days of this coming out, Happy changed his behavior. And he didn't just simply leave games immediately but continue to stay not 15 seconds but maybe four minutes so what happened in those four minutes i can tell you an example that was reported to me to trick the moderators into thinking that he didn't leave immediately as i said he stayed a bit what did he do you know the map shallow grave next to your starting position is a renegade wizard that casts the lightning shield so Happy played his hero and ghouls, approached this camp, made it so that the Renegade Wizard is casting the Lightning Shield on another creep. This can happen in one out of a hundred games, maybe? That's crazy to think about, too. And then you have to move your ghouls. For a creep to cast Lightning, lightning Shield on another creep is crazy. I, like... I wouldn't believe it unless unless I'm getting told it right here, right? Well, like, to see it's another thing, too. I'd love to actually see that happen. I've never seen it happen. But I've heard about it happening a few times, like, prior to this whole situation. The way because they are taking damage from that lightning shield. In this case, though, Happy stayed as close as possible to the lightning shield. All his ghouls were taking damage. He sent them across to the enemy base, lost them, and went out. So that was the way of tricking the admins into thinking, oh, they, they, they won't check anyway, I'll just stay a little bit longer. In some games, he just built three necropolises. You know? That's crazy. 
And then they cra- As it was reported that this is happening to the mob team, they punished him. One day ban. If this keeps on happening, the ban can be increased. Or he learns it from it and starts playing the condition that he usually doesn't want to play on. And like, as a pro player, it shouldn't matter the conditions, you should just stick it out. Regardless, like, for the community overall. Because essentially you are a role model in this community that people look up to, that learn strats, want to figure out what's coming up for undead, so on and so forth. Especially with Happy with the undead and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, nah. He should play it through as a pro player and not just leave. The whole other thing about, like, Buddy threatening him, I understand that. They should never be paired up against each other and stuff like that. That's completely understandable. I get it. Or if they were to be, like, a final two in a competition, Happy should be able to play from his home and uh, Buddy should be able to play from his home, you know? And, like, it doesn't matter what ends up getting said because... They should even step in and be like, if you're going to threaten Happy there, then, you know, we're going to kick you out for that, too. Because you should, like, they're bringing ban hammers for World of Warcraft, other games, too, right? A whole bunch of other games straight up just kick you off and ban you just for talking smack like that. Because that shouldn't happen um, in the first place. That will be the ruling. It's either this or that. So... As I said, there's no professional moderators here, so this is going based on reports. If this happens and people report it, moderators will take a look. Now here comes my opinion. I know how often this was discussed in good faith. The problem was brought up to the players, like, this is the problem, this is why this is a problem, this is why this affects the entire ladder and not just your comfort. Please stop it. Please, 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 please. They tried it so many times. In good faith. It was always ignored. Except by people like Soen. So now, finally! Finally they're cracking down on this. Is my opinion. I think uh, this should have been handled a lot harsher, a lot earlier, but I also understand that it's a volunteer project and they have a lot of shit to deal with already. Understandable. So now... There's finally some action against it. I appreciate that a lot. A lot, lot. There is a lot of people saying, well, it's not the player's fault, it's the system's fault. We should have filters for ping. Doesn't work in our small community. If you apply filters, everybody wants to play on the perfect conditions, which, in a perfect world, with a million players, this could be doable. In our small scene, it isn't doable. People say, you should have filters for who you don't want to play. Well, then everyone obviously puts happy on the filter. Don't match them anymore to not lose MMR. It's not that easy. In my opinion, the system isn't flawed. In my opinion, the players, especially at the top, our top players in the scene, they're the top players for a reason. This is who everybody looks towards to. And they set the example. They are supposed to be role models. Agreed. They set examples and people follow their lead. If the players intend that or not, it doesn't really matter. People do. Always. So obviously there's more eyes on these top players. Obviously they'll be more reported than a person on 1500 MMR. And it's very good that they are not spared. And it has to start now, and the mod team has to go through with that now. Because once you let loose and stop the punishment, it will happen again. Like the child trying to go for the cookie jar. You might get caught once and stop for a week, but you'll be back in 10 days to see if... And that's another thing that they have to take in consideration too, right? Is that like, sure, you throw the bands on if it's like 10 days two weeks something like that even a month when they come back who's not to say that it won't end up happening again right there has to be a way to indefinitely stop it but 
as he's saying, it's such a small community compared to everything else that uh, it is hard, man. It's more so about good sportsmanship and just playing the games through, especially at the top tier, right? As he's saying, as I've been saying, like role models in this game, people that we go to for strategies and ideas and stuff like that, right? Like this wouldn't have happened back in the day at World Cyber Games back in like 2004, 2005, 2006, all the way to like 2008. It wouldn't have happened, right? Everybody had to play all the way through. That's back when it was like Grubby and Moon playing a good majority of the time before Grubby ended up going over to StarCraft 2 and then coming back over to uh, Warcraft 3. But yeah, no, I, I wholeheartedly agree. The rules are still in place. And if you're getting caught this time. So, if that happens, report. Report, report, report. Or are you of the opinion that it's not the right thing? People should be able to leave. That it doesn't matter. Or that happy shouldn't punish because he's happy. I want. I feel like if you're on teams and stuff though, and other team members leave, it should not affect you if you're trying to actually stay and play the game. The first person that leaves should get everything done to their account everybody else if they play through if they end up like leaving right after they leave it's like bro that account should get hit too like pinged real quick so the first account is like okay cool 10 days the second account if they were to leave right away you get like seven days third account let's say leaves right away it'll be like another seven days and then if you're literally the last person there and you just like start playing just cause it's like well I'm the last person might as well I'm strictly talking about 4v4 here I'm the last person here or even 3v3s uh, I might as well play through just rush me right just talk to the other team just rush me this is where I'm at and it is what it is but you should not get hit with any kind of loss for MMR or anything if it's out of your control oops or that happy shouldn't punish because he's happy. I want to know your thoughts on this. I also want to know how happy's behavior will change in the 40 in the in the 24 hours. The ban is over tomorrow. He can play tomorrow again. Will he still leave for his ex lord, for his hitman, versus players that he matches on US East? I feel like it sets the precedent for what to expect. So like have it's good that Happy got banned just to show us like, hey, we're not playing around kind of thing. Try to like force their hand kind of thing, right? For any kind of player that's uh, high tier. But then you're gonna get people who are D writers being like, oh, he's happy. Like it shouldn't happen. He's a pro player. You know, how are you going to do this to him, livelihood, so on and so forth. But it's like, you got to make an example of one of the higher-ups compared just to show everybody. It's like, this can happen to anybody. So, I, I'm pretty, like, I, I'm waiting to see how happy he's going to play as well. We'll see about that, everybody. Drama, 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 drama. A lot of people have a big opinion on that. Keep it civil, but put it in the comments and I'll report once we have news on the Happy War 3 Champions drama. See you in a bit. Yeah, so like, I agree. I agree wholeheartedly uh, that, you know, the throw the band hammer at Happy just out of like the game, man. Straight up and down. Just because it's like, bro, you shouldn't be doing that should be doing that if you're a pro player you're setting the precedent for everybody else who wants to play undead you're there as a role model in our community you're a pillar of the community overall and if you're doing that a lot of people are going to end up following suit being like oh like we can manipulate our mmr like this and like don't get me wrong back in the day they were smurf accounts people were smurfing they were abusing random and stuff and then they'd end up switching over to their main and when a bunch end up leveling up crazy, which it was smurfing back in the day. But now this is uh this has gone beyond smurfing. 
right? So I don't know, you guys let me know too down in the comment section, leave it. Let me know if you agree with the band Hammer Come Down on Happy, if this is something that should get uh, implement, implemented throughout, like starting from now on and stuff like that. Just because how small the community is trying to keep it as peaceful and as coordinated as possible. But yo, that's going to do it for this video. Feel free to hit me up on any one of my other social media platforms down below. Think about becoming a channel member to support the channel. You do have access to the videos a day in advance. Make sure you check out Back to Warcraft if you haven't already checked them out. Drop them a sub and a like if uh, you're into Warcraft 3 as well. Happy God Band of Warcraft 3 Champions. That's still, that still blows my mind. That's nuts. But anyway, everybody take care of yourself and each other. Until next time, and peace.